out this hair. $14.95. Well, today we are back at a viewer favorite. We are at Finders Keepers. Now, I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Just gonna preface it by saying I don't have a lot of time. I have to get home. It's actually Tuesday, which is the day that I'm supposed to be doing eBay listings. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and I have not yet started. So we're gonna run in here, see what we can find. And then in a couple days, I think I'm gonna take you back to the shop, but uh, we're gonna see what we can find in here. And hopefully we find some goodies to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. 9.95, what even is it? Obviously it's a primitive doll, but is it like a mass produced made in China primitive doll? Or is this like a folk art? handmade local doll. It's so fun. $9.95. You know what? I think I'll grab that. I think that'll be our first item. Pick that up. That's fun. This is neat looking too. What is this up here? What? What is... Okay. Here. Porcelain doll. I've seen this doll before. Who makes this? I don't know. Hmm. Is it an Esco? It says on the bottom an Esco. I'm gonna assume it's an Esco. Stay. Let's see what we can find here in the window. That's different. And how's these polka dots? <laughs> That's weird. I don't know what's going on there, but I kind of like it. I don't know how much I like it, but I like it. All the glass looks so pretty here in the window. There's carnival glass. Looks like this one that would be twenty-one twenty-one. There's the price on that. Rana fish, fifty-five on that. All the succulents. I have my hands full with just three. Funny, I just saw that exact same plate over at uh, Black Rose of Hanover. Exact same one. This fish is cool looking. Green brown fish, $20. Hmm. It's weird. I kind of like it. I don't know at 20. Those are kind of neat. How much are they? Three white dishes. $3.98. I'll take all three. I feel like I've looked at this before. dish. Oh, look at those. Who makes those? Fiesta? Hmm. I don't think so. One has a giant crack. I don't think I could pay that with a giant crack. $25. Chipped. You know, I'm a sucker for Italian pottery. Is. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, there's a giant crack on that. Hummer. Got excited for a second. These 
Oh, I see. Those are political. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's got elephants on it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're not going to go there. <laughs> Shoot. It's going to say a little bit of Pyrex. That's interesting. Isn't that for scissors? Scissors go in her head. It's a hobbyist piece, but it's well painted. The rubber fish that used to be over on the other side. I remember because I played with it last time. Ooh, look at that glaze. Hmm. It kind of looks like Bill Campbell, but it's not a Bill Campbell piece. $7.95. Alright, well, let's venture this way. <laughs> that rooster is so cool. Shelf sitter. Crafted in India. What? Those are so neat. Twenty dollars each. Hmm. I don't know if I could do twenty each. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe she could make us a deal on those. We'll stick them in here and bring them up to her. What do we have? Oh my gosh, look at that. That's amazing. Oh my god. They have a silver overlay trim. They're crackle glass. That's a stunning set. $80. I'll pay that. No question. Let's bring it up front. Brought that up front. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right, she's gonna give me twenty percent off. Sweet. Those are pretty. <laughs> Another duck. Wow. Oh, Carlo Moretti. Look how pretty it is. Six. Yeah. So nice. Ooh, these are nice too. I love this pattern. There's a beautiful Murano with the Latticino. I'm not sure I can do 90 though, even with 20% off. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous bowl. <laughs> He's a cute little owl. Oh, it's a mug. It's a little mug. Hmm. I almost wondered if that was anthropology. It looks like the one design they have with the applied flower on it. What is that wild looking bird? Copper glass green bead bird thing. That is wild. <laughs> green glass ball face. Yes, that's exactly what this is. There's no better way to describe it. So wild looking. I kind of love it. I'm kind of like, hey, they're handsome. <laughs> oh, shoot. 20% off. Do we love him at 20% off? I think maybe we do. I'm just surprised it's not signed anywhere. I think it's probably like folk art. I would call that folk art. I almost wonder if it's made in Mexico. I know they do a lot of stuff with tin. However, this looks to be more copper. We are going to wander into the back room. Now, I've been trying to do a little bit more filming for you guys. 
because there was a lack of music, but walking into the back room here, I realized that there is some music playing, so I have to be careful. Is this an actual painting? It's kind of great, but I don't need a painting. Just bought an owl painting the other day. I don't need another painting. <laughs> to figure out where I'm gonna ha Oh, look at this. That's adorable. Oh, I love it so much. Little block, I mean, it's a little hard with one hand, but it has little blocks for the poles. That is the cutest. I don't, I, I don't have a place for it. I'm trying to think. Could I put that in a little? No. So I, I was like, hey, Andrew, I bought more friends. He would, he would die if I told him I bought more friends. How much is it? How much is it, though? $149.95 with no reduction. It's just straight up $149.95. I noticed that a lot of the tags don't reduce anymore. Um, so this is what the tags used to look like. And some still do, where it would have increments and at a certain date, the price would drop. But I've noticed now a lot of the tags look like this, where it's just one price. So it's something to just keep an eye on. It's a really pretty vanity set. Nothing really caught my eye, so I didn't really film much. I mean, I did film that awesome dresser. But they were rocking out on the country music. I'm gonna go back out to the main floor. See if there's anything I missed. And then I'm probably gonna get out of here. Check out this Hager. $14.95. <laughs> it's so fun. What would Andrew say about shipping this, do you think? He'd probably be like, oh heck no, I'm not shipping that. And I'd be like, but please, it's so pretty. Oh. I don't know, it's really heavy. You know what though, I could probably stick that in my booth. It's very springtimey. I bet mom could do something with that. She could put flowers in it and make it look really nice and make it a focus piece. Yeah, I think I'll grab it for that purpose. And we don't have to ship it. All right. Let's grab our Schwann and head up towards the checkout. I forgot to check over here in the cases. So I'll do that real quick before we take off. Fenton, carnival glass and whatnot in there. These are adorable. That ten. Hmm, what is this? Sale. Seven dollars and ninety-five cents. Pretty little dish. I like the pretty little dish. Seven dollars and ninety-five cents. Alright, the other thing that caught my eye was this down here, so I do want to take... Oh, it's Capitan Monte. Alright, and there is chipping on it, so I'm not going to mess with it. The Murano in there. That is a beautiful bowl. I think I passed that up the last time. And this egg. Hmm, I don't think that's Murano, but... I think that was more than 50 last time. I think I might grab it this time around. Glass has been selling really well for me on Whatnot, so I might be able to pay 50 and still make some money if I sell it on Whatnot. There's a red wedge. Oh, there's a whole bunch. They're all headdress. 38 bucks a piece, though. Alright. Round something. Gale. 1987. I and mean, it's not really winter anymore. It kind of looks like a snow scene, but we'll take it. I like it. 
All right, so our video was a little bit short today and I decided I was gonna bring you guys back to the shop where I have a mission, I have a mission today, and that is to clear, <laughs> to clear my second white table that I have in the front of the shop. We are going to clear it. And I think in the process of clearing it, we're going to price stuff for the booth because a lot of that stuff is actually intended for the booth. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna try to clear it. Looks like over here. Oh, this is the one with the troll head in the jar. <laughs> I think it's just the head. I don't think the actual troll is in there. Maybe I should try to pull it out. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to get that. It's been in there since we found it. And we found that in a uh, house cleanup that we did back pre 2020, I think. That was a long time ago. Um, all right, let me go get a box. Let's get a box, empty box. I think I'm going to price these. They're Imperial class. They're geese, set of three. Let's see how much those sell for on eBay. And uh, see what we should price those at. Imperial glass goose set. Didn't work. Is it Imperial glass? Am I wrong? Indiana glass. I'm pretty certain the IG stands for Imperial glass. Now it's bringing up other things. Okay. <laughs> Let me try this again. This one is listed as Heisey by Imperial glass. Interesting. Because I think that one's over here. Right? This one? But you can see the marking right there. I-G stands for Imperial Glass. So I guess maybe they have something to do with high Z, but I have a set of three and that one sold for 30 bucks. That's kind of interesting. 35. See, this, this is the point at which I would check worth point. Oh, you know what? I can check worth point. Here we are on worth point. I am only able to access WorthPoint through the app because every time I try to access it through my computer, I have no photos. And I've tried reaching out to WorthPoint. They have not responded to my email, which has been very frustrating. So I have resorted to only using my app. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is having this problem, but it's been very frustrating, especially when you pay, I think, $40 a month. But anyway, it looks like back in 2012... Somebody paid $120 for those, but you can see as um, as time goes on, we have 2021, somebody paid 40. So here in 2020, they were 75. Um, so whenever you use WorthPoint, it's very important to look at the dates because it goes back quite a ways, whereas eBay is only 90 days. Um, so that's why I like looking at WorthPoint because these are actual sold records and um, you can see what things are selling for. This creamer here is Franciscan. I don't think that I have a sugar to go with it. If I had to guess, I'd say eight bucks on that, but I'll look up a comp real quick and see what we've got. This guy, I think he's supposed to look like one of those figurines that they pull out of the tombs. Right? Maybe. So here I am on eBay and I'm typing in the search Franciscan Yellow Creamer. And we are looking at sold listings. Wow, there are a lot of Franciscan Yellow Creamers, aren't there? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, I have it sorted highest to lowest, and I'm not seeing this guy. I don't see him at all. Pretty sure that's the Franciscan TV mark. Yeah, definitely. That's the Franciscan TV mark. I know it's faint, but I recognize it. All right, I can't find it. We'll just list it at eight dollars. Easy enough. Maybe I have this listed at most recent. It's not highest, but it's most recent. Anyway, um, so 
My friend Peter showed me this really cool feature the other day that I, I was not aware of. If you notice, when I searched that, it went straight to sold. I didn't have to toggle anything over. And Peter showed me that if you go to... Sorry, that's my security system. Um, if you go into... See how there's little, like, locks here? Uh, Peter showed me that if you go down here and you go to customize you can actually add lockable features on here. Expand all features, lockable features, and oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, and then when you come in here, it puts locks by these and you can lock them. So every time you do an eBay search, if you're a reseller and you wanna skip the step of switching over to sold, um, it'll automatically sort by sold. And usually when I'm searching on eBay, it's almost always sold. So it saves me a step. Cause the more I look them over, I'm like, why is he covered in dirt? That means he was buried. Why was he buried? And then I just, I have all these questions. <laughs> I have all these questions. He actually has dirt on him. It's real dirt. That's not like pretend dirt. See? Flakes off. So, I'm curious about him. Here you go. Google image search for the rescue. 35, 48. Mm, that one's a different and all of the look at these these ones have dirt on them it's fake dirt <laughs> that's interesting I think they actually put fake dirt on these to make them look more um, legit like they were actually buried because all of the ones I'm seeing have dirt on them it's interesting, isn't it? You know what? Let's do 18. That's the kind of the lowest. The lower end is 18. So we'll put it up at 18. I moved all of the large pieces of Murano that I'm too afraid to ship into the back closet where I will put them out when we open shop and I can sell them there um, because that's the only reason they're still hanging around is because I'm not comfortable shipping them. They will probably break. Uh, this was stuff that I was... That we could throw down there. This is um, stuff that I was going to include and whatnot. Is that a bitty baby bear? Is that that is a small stife? That's what that is. I bet you that's a stife bear. That might have some value. I'll stick it there for now. Those I could bring home. I could use those as to go cups. I'll put those by the door. An auction extra that I never really thought anything about because I know it's contemporary and it's not something I would normally pick up for resale. However, that all changed in my mind when I saw somebody at an antique mall carrying one of these around, like cradling it because she had found it and she was so excited about it and she was buying it. And I'm like, hey, maybe I should put mine in the booth and sell it. So I will price it now and I will. Move it along through my poof. It was amazing. And I have not been able to find the right shade for it. You can see the socket is showing. And I'm debating whether I want to stick it in my booth without a shade. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Somebody can find the perfect shade for it. Rather than sacrificing one of my fiberglass shades. <laughs> and unfortunately, this is not the type of finial that you just pop out it is actually fastened on there so I can't exchange it for a shorter finial to, accom to accommodate um, that particular shade so <sighs> alright yeah I'm going to sell it I have to think of a price to put on that because I'm obsessed with it and my obsession with it is going to <laughs> leave me inclined to price it higher than than it probably is worth because I just love it so much. But also, it's so cool. Look at it. I've never seen another one like it. There's some lamps that I see over and over and over again. But this one I've never seen. It's almost... It looks like a fossil. With the fish imprints. I think that's why I think it's so cool. And this is porcelain. i got to price this as well. It looks metal, but it's porcelain. Hey, look. It's an arrowhead. That's kind of fun. Finland glass. I 
I bought these for Juliet. I should probably go put those by the door. Amazing how I'm rediscovering things. That was to clean my lens. Um, and then I have all these Chemex filters because we got a bunch of vintage pour overs and I thought it was a good idea that I try pour over coffee. And this is as far as I got because I'm not that committed to pour over coffee. I'm not throwing them away, I'm throwing everything else away. <laughs> I just don't know if I'm that committed. It seems like it's a whole process. Mickey and Minnie here. I think I can price. I did $8 on this fish. I did $12 on this. Although, I will tell you again, planters are not moving out of my booth. I'm not sure why. I thought springtime. They'll move. And I'm pricing them fairly. Like $8 to $12. Unless they have a name on them. Like McCoy or Hager. And then, I'm thinking they're still under 20 bucks, But they're not moving. Hey, look, there's some handy tags in there. I can use those. Tape, I could always use some tape. So I'm gonna have to get that $4 sticker. Um, these are going over to our camper. We don't have any plates in our camper. I feel like that's enough plates to last us forever and we can feed the whole campground. Here is where I'm at as far as pricing other things. Um, the elephant figurine there, I'm at 12. Mickey and Minnie, 8. Swanky Swig here. Kind of looks like a Bosco peanut butter jar, but I'm almost positive this is a Swanky Swig. Um, 4 bucks. Shirley Temple, 4 bucks. Um, what else do we have? I told you the fish was at 8. Mikasa Blue Roses over here. These are Mikasa. Oh, you can see here they're marked. I saw a set of 11 of these sold for $250. Um, so I did the division and I came up with $18 a piece on those. Um, and like I said, 12 on this. And yes, I will get rid of the $4 sticker. I will remember. <laughs> I did 95 on the lamp. Told you I'm obsessed with the lamp. I felt like that was fair, but it was the high end of fair. And this thing is 85. Like I said, it is signed on the bottom. I sit down though, it's extremely heavy. It is signed on the bottom. And it's this ox blood red. Really beautiful vase. And it almost looks metal because the inside is a matte black. So I'm going to fire off stickers. Are these silver? Those are all silver plate. I don't know why they're hanging out here. <laughs> really long spoons. Pewter. I'm guessing. It's very heavy. I guess I could price that as well. But that looks like it's supposed to have a lid. There's a, a lip in there. Oh, I would assume it has a lid. This bird thing. Unfortunately... It was supposed to have a glass insert. It does not, so I stuck this apron in there. I'm like, oh, that'll work. It doesn't really, though. <laughs> it's not meant, I just kind of paired it together, so. Um, we could try this apron. I think I did, I think that's why this one is over here. I don't know how I end up with so many extra of these, but I do. It's just not gonna work just really needs that glass insert and I don't have it. So it's kind of a bummer because it is a cool piece. Wouldn't you know it, after pricing this for 12 bucks, I turn it over and it says Francoma. <laughs> just gonna double check, make sure it's not worth like 50 bucks and uh, we'll go from there. I couldn't find it on eBay so I switched over to my uh, WorthPoint app. Looks like I kind of nailed it on the price. As far as my local market, if I was to list it on eBay, I would probably price it a little higher, and I would list it as buy it now. But for 12 bucks, that's the lower end of uh, what things have sold for, and I feel pretty good about listing it there. Look, this one sold for 12 in 2019. Ooh, but this one sold for $40 in 2015, 26 in 2020. So that's where we're at. I feel good about 12. I didn't get it completely cleared, but I made really good progress. 
I feel like I made really good progress. I even moved on to artwork. I started pricing artwork. I got this cruel price. I think I put 95 on that. Put 48 on that. Put $8 on the Goaties print. Still have to print the tags though. Um, I discovered a lot of Andrew's stuff here on the table as I was cleaning. I moved that back to his area. And I talked to him on the phone and had a realization that he should start having whatnot sales on his whatnot account for his manly things rather than just coins. Like he's only he's always done exclusively coins on his sales, but why not his stuff? Like he's got so much stuff. He's got boxes of stuff. I don't even know what's in these, but look, there's a seashell. There's some mouse traps, like mouse traps. Everybody needs a, a vintage, cruel, torturous mouse trap, right? Those are in high demand right now. So anyway, um, I'm like, Andrew, why don't you just, why don't you do some sales? And I think that's the plan. So stay tuned. I'll probably promote some of his sales coming up, and they'll be during the day because we finally were able to find somebody to watch Laurel during the day. So I'm very excited. We should have four days a week. The fifth day she's usually with me, and that's when you see us go shopping together and having fun. Um, but four days a week, four days a week, um, we can work. We do work, we work very hard. Um, so probably throw in a sale or two over on Andrew's. Uh, I don't know if it's a channel, uh, what is What is it on whatnot? A channel, a username, whatever. Um, his is ND Treasures. So I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna head home. We're celebrating Ashton's birthday. Today is his actual birthday. We celebrated his birthday last weekend, but today is his actual birthday. So we're going out to eat tonight. We're getting sushi um, and that is the plan. So I will see all of you tomorrow. Nothing new, but it's so good to see you.